often get moaned at if my video's been too long. Stereo. Fitted. Job done. For those who'd like to know how it actually got in, and what it looks like we turn it on, well, here it goes. Now, you're gonna get bing bing noises from my car. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Loading data. Let's get the volume down when it does that. Now, for some of you may notice when I turned it on then, that the date and time wasn't there, and no preset memories. It's the common, common fault. The red and the yellow wire on all models are different. On this one, ignition and permanent live are wrong. So what you get is no memory. So I've got to take it all out again. The screen actually comes off, comes out. The base unit itself doesn't have a cage around it. So you get some wadding and then screw it in. I've got to take this off, it unscrews and comes out, and then all the dash off, etc., and it come out. That I'll show you, but for everybody else who just likes this bit, you press the home button, you've got all your bits there, you've got your car play, Apple play, and all the other bits and bobs, which is great. Go back to your screen, you've got your radio, pop your radio in, and you've got music. And unfortunately, for those who want to see that, job done. For those who want to see how and what it looks like the back and all the connections, they do. It is plug and play. Honestly, it's just plug and play, so it's nice and easy. But I'm going to take all the dash off. You'll see that next. So, thank you for watching. For those who want to see how, what it looks like the back and how it's fitted, keep watching. So, this always looks a little bit of a mess. I put these on the side to bag it out. Be careful, there's all screw holes down the side here. Make sure you fit the correct screw. Don't just stick any screw in because there's all little bits in here. So test it with the screw first. Like I've got a small screwdriver like this one. And I poked in all the holes and some of the holes went right through, some of the holes hit things. You don't want to just be drilling them in, you're gonna knack your stereo straight away. So test all the holes on the side and then fit this wadding in and it nicely screwed in and I've got some self-tappers to go through the plastic and into there and that held it in very, very nicely. What I did do though is maybe put it too far back so when I get my fingers behind it to get this screen off because here's the wire and this is the nice screen you've got to be careful of. On the back, just a plug in and a little cover. I'll show you that a bit later and a bit more closer. You may not have to do all this. But what I'm talking about today noisy cars, open the window, it's hot. There's two wires here, okay? Yellow, red. Look at that, zoom in. Yellow and red. It's often, they put a double connector and a single connector here, so I've got to cut this and redo this one. But on all vehicles, they're different. This is permanent live, that's ignition live, and they connect it all around. So it's just simple, we've got to do that. Back the stereo, that you can see there, you've got your amp wires and everything else, but your main plug, comes straight in and should, on most cars, just immediately fit into the original connectors. Being an American truck, this is an F350, slightly different. And you may not have to put all this wadding on here, you know, um, and you may just be able to squeeze it in with a little wadding and hope for the better there. But end of the day, it's down to you. But so far, I've got to just turn it around and it will keep the memory. The basic fault is every time you turn it on, it's got nothing. It doesn't remember the presets you put in, nor does it remember the date and time bloody annoying you can't do that every single time so when I swap them two wires round but to put this back in everything will work perfectly happy days and I can show you the full features of what it's like then I've got to upgrade the speakers because they're vibrating and yeah you know me I enjoy doing it really right good to see this and I change them over about to push it back in while you're watching it then screw it back in put it there show you how the screen goes on and you'll be happy as Larry as I am. The reason why I swapped it, double din, single din, doesn't matter, it's a double din one. It doesn't do a CD, but it does. It's got charging cables, it's got the microphone. That works really well in the phone as well, Bluetooth. The reason why I changed it is the other Kenwood stereo that I had in here had the volume control right to left hand side, tiny little buttons. And I'm driving along and I'm like, N -n 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 -n. really annoying. I like the fact you can touch the screen and move it along, or you still have buttons on the side as well. Either way, but it's bloody annoying, isn't it? Trying to up and down it. I've swapped them two wires round. Make sure you gently push this all back in. 
this has got lots of little bits on there for brake pedals and your switches microphone for your radio um, for this is your little uh, microphone um, you can put it round anywhere you like there's the original one up here but I like the fact I'm going to have it on my dash. I did a phone call last night and it was absolutely brilliant, so I'm happy. So gently push this all back into where you're going to want it. And I said I'm going to actually have it slightly further out than I did before. Now, to stop me taking it in and out and putting my dash back on, I'm just going to simply connect it, see how it works and make sure that I haven't got to bloody do it again. So this just nicely fits in like that. You've got a cover, but I'm not going to do that at present minute. And this fits on like that. Now it's got two little tabs on the back that you can adjust it with, which I think is really, really cool. Um, but again, I could barely do it with the angle I had it on. So now we're just going to turn it on, mind the binging noises. All we're going to simply test for now is that when I put a radio station and turn it off, it stays. So all I want it to do, it's on, which is great. Amps working, which is great. It's loading. Radio will come on. As I said, you've got the buttons here for the up and down, but... I like the fact you can just do this, it's much, it's much nicer. So, we are just going to sit here with, you can do it manually as well. If you touch it again, this is your And what from the day on the moet come is missing and off. Right, press, hold. about those stations it's simple and it just what would you like hold press three hold it for three seconds beep job done so there we go um let's do this one as well let's just get anything we can i like the fact you can do it manually look at that <laughs> yeah, well, that is kiss and if we go down some more, let's go to Essex Radio. There you go, Essex Radio. Put that on there. Right, they are all stored. See that? So, turn the ignition off. It went off then. Let the memory go for a couple of seconds, and we turn it back on. It should light up, and it should remember where we were. If that's job done, happy days. For the big test. On. Come on. We should hear music straight away. Loading. See, it's got three minutes, four minutes. It's going to work. See, before it was always zero, zero, zero. And there you go. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that's it that's what I want to do now I can refit it all properly back in here let's get these little pins it's quite robust if I'm honest with you I'm quite happy with that there's a little clip that goes on the back to hold it in and I said I'm gonna have it slightly further out this time so I can get my hands behind it it's a little bit tight it angles any way you want it to to stop the glare SD card, it's got loads, it also comes with, I did fit the cable and a reverse or forward camera, this is a reverse camera, it takes both forward and reverse, so happy days there. The problem is I'm not holding out for a reverse camera because my motor is 22 foot long. And by the time you go through the floor and way to the back, I think I'll get to my back axle. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get to the back. So yeah <laughs> but i'll put it in there anyway i don't want to keep doing this it's mind numbing so i've got it there i'm going to screw this back in to hold it there and then put all this back on put the dash back on put that back on and then let's see what it looks like upgrade to speak six by nine is all round it's got a base box as well here it's this little bit here um when i first put it in it said to put it it didn't say i just didn't read it right i put an audio in rather than audio out yeah i know Getting old. It does come with mini <laughs> instructions. Who reads them? Well, I suggest you keep them because on the back here, at least it tells you where to plug things in. So the amp and the wires and for the camera. 
um, and the accessories. It's not bad, you know. Um, eBay purchase, you never quite know what you're going to get, do you? But to be honest with you, I'm quite happy with it. Definitely an upgrade. I like the fact of there. Touchscreen does work quite well. I've got cold hands, dirty hands as well, and it's first thing in the morning. Otherwise, when I was driving along doing it, it really did work well until I got to petrol station and turned off, and I had to reset all again. Hence, I knew I'd done it wrong. That's from years of experience. So the red and the yellow wire, if you put it in, lose its memory, that's what it is. Simple video. Thank you so much for watching. Anybody else who's watched my channel for this last little bit, I'm one month free, cancer free. A uh, bit of a mess up with NHS. Some great people work for NHS. Just messed up by a load of bad men with blood tests. Uh, we've had strikes here, so I've got no backup to know whether it was all taken out. and No thyroid, the lever for roxins, a bit of a bugger. Turns out that I was allergic to one of the non-active ingredients, which was making me sore throat, coughing up every night, hours sleep, really agitated. and just not myself at present minute. But I'm getting there, so just in case you wondered. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.